after George O. Siwa was caught lying in our previous video. Things have only gotten worse within the last few days. Appearing on the most ridiculous podcast on the internet, which gives us a chance to have an insight of George O's brain. And what a scary place it is. Guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. I'm back with another episode of the Broken Voice Box. Recently, she's been warming up that raspy esophagus when she went on the sh podcast to ever exist, and that podcast is called Talk To Her. You know, the podcast who's run by that girl who became famous off a three-second internet meme. Oh, oh you, you gotta give him that hook to and spit on that thing. <laughs> 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 God, that's hilarious. I love brain rot. Speaking of brain rot, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the highlight of that episode. Brain rot. What the skibbity? Yeah, I've never touched a d- I've never sucked a man. I've never hawked to wood. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo, you, you've never s- a man's penis before. Well, thank you very much for that mandatory f***ing information. Pour yourself another pint. For the podcast you went on, ladies and gentlemen, gave us a really big insight into Jojo Siwa's life and answered a lot of unanswered questions, like, does Jojo Siwa have a penis? Because what the f*** is that? So yeah, she talks about the magazine cover, she talks about the X for men and women, they even talk about naming their f***ing in vaginas, because that's normal. I believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, but Jojo Siwa is also coming out with a new movie. Yay, Jojo Siwa. Help, I'm scared. I think I need to find a new bush to hide in. But if you didn't see my last video on Jojo Siwa, ladies and gentlemen, be thankful you avoided a near-death experience. But she went to Poland because apparently her new song is trending there, and also the Eurovision reached out to her and asked her to be a part of the singing contest and represent the country. And believe it or not, neither, neither one of those statements is true. The BBC posted an article quoting Eurovision for saying, We haven't spoken to Jojo Siwa. Yeah, she lied for no apparent reason whatsoever. But thank God it wasn't true, because nobody wants to see her sh- Faced on stage and dry yeah. humping inanimate yeah. objects. Does anyone ever do that when they're stretching? <laughs> Why would you dry hump if you aren't equipped with a penis? Or is she? <laughs> As we covered in the last video, these images were posted by a magazine photo shoot that Georgia took part in. And she wore some interestingly disturbing attire. It's kind of like a breastplate with f- pecs and six pack of abs. I mean, she was looking shredded. She was looking natty. And then how her eyes began to wander lower. God help us. Now, I am very well known, ladies and gentlemen, for avoiding jumping to conclusions. But that's a fucking c- I mean, who the hell signed off on that? Yeah, George, or the idea of you with male genitals is something that should be on a magazine cover. I mean, if she wasn't dangerous before, she f- is now. I probably can't show the whole image on YouTube, so if you do want to see it, join the channel membership so we can watch this video uncensored, zero ads, and no annoying f***ing beeps. And I'll tell you what, right, I'll also chuck in some extra custom emojis as well. But for those of you who are watching the censored version, th- th- there's a f***ing dick. There. You'll just have to take my word for it. She also went on the New York Fashion Week dressed as a furry ball keychain. You can buy them on eBay for about three bucks. And also some green monstrous boots as well. What a fashion icon. But anyway, moving on to the Talk to a podcast. I'm not going to go into the history of Talk to a or Hock to a whatever the sh meme is. I'm not gonna bother, right? I was gonna make a video on that previously. I decided not to because I, I, I just hate it, okay? But anyway, Jojo Siwa went on there and they showed a teaser for what's in store for the episode and I almost passed away. Never laid eyes on a d- before. Don't do it. I'm not. Do you hop to? Actually, yeah. <laughs> See, it's not just for the straight people. All right, what's the craziest date you've ever been on? I spent like 60 grand in one weekend on this girl just to get laid and it didn't work. <laughs> I have big energy. Yeah, okay, sh- Oh, shit. Will death be arriving soon? H- how long until death gets you? The fact that she said that honestly makes me feel sick. Big dick energy? You? Really? Says the person that spent 60 grand on a date and still couldn't get late. I mean, what happened? Did you get to the hotel room and whip out this creepy-ass gesture? Yeah, sorry, just didn't fancy having gremlin sex tonight. Sex, vagina, and c- is what most of the conversations on this podcast consists of. And now with Jojo Siwa on there, hell on earth. She started off by talking about the bizarre adventures of Jojo Siwa and how she's making a movie, apparently. What's the movie gonna be about? It's very deep, it's very drama, and it is about two things. I'll say this. It's about an experience that I've never gotten to have, which I'm excited about. And it's also about a horrific, traumatic experience that I did go through when I was very, very young. And so I'm kind of excited to tell that story on screen. And I get to be gay in it, so that's good. There you go. I always get afraid that I'm going to have to play a straight person. I'm like, I can't do it. I can't. You don't think you could? Yeah, hold your f- 
fucking horses for a second. What the hell is going on? It's a movie about her. So why would she be straight? Hey, what's up, guys? I'm making a movie about my life. Thank God they didn't make me be a woman. Guys, they're making a movie about my life. I'm so glad I don't have to play a Triceratops. I'm so happy. I mean, is she all good, like? She needs to lay off the booze. And all I really want to know is, is if the Black Beast is going to make an appearance. I mean, if I had to, I could. But I think if I had to kiss a man, I would, like, lose it. <laughs> yeah, you're not yeah. missing anything. <laughs> I'm not missing anything. <laughs> you're not missing anything. Coming from you? Yeah, you're not missing much. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'll take it. Because, I mean, you got to, like, worry about too much tongue, you know, them spitting in your mouth and slobbering. It, they're gross. Half of them don't even brush their teeth. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Yeah, you're not missing much. Basically, we're targeting men. I mean, what in the holy fuck is going on? I mean, what? what, I, what I, sorry, you, you kiss men who spit in your mouth and don't brush their teeth. What kind of blokes have you been kissing? You should probably up your standards a little bit and not set the bar so low for yourself. And Georgia Siwa, don't judge so hard, pal. You were the one that was on f***ing stage putting your hands down your trousers in front of your audience. Don't be so f***ing Fucking weird. And then finally, ladies and gentlemen, we get some answers to some unanswered questions. She talks about her magazine cover. You know, the one with the, uh... Um, and it happened that day, and it was... Uh, I ended up being fine. I got through the day, and it was so worth it, because the pictures turned out so sick. Um... The, the, the pictures turned out sick? Yeah, turned people sick. I mean, do you guys at home really look at these Giorgio Siwa photos and think to yourself, yeah, that's fine. Sick. Anyway, I think Georgia Siwa is slightly delusional. I think she sees herself in a way that nobody else sees her, and she seems to think that she's some sort of icon of the century. In Karma, she dressed up in this ridiculous outfit and was just dry humping females. And then in Guilty Pleasure, uh, a fucking tampon fell out. You're iconic, Georgia, for all the wrong reasons. And the way she acts in the next clip, ladies and gentlemen, really makes me want to stick my head in a cement mixer. It was definitely yeah. something I've never seen before, like the yes. bulge. Dude, where the f did you get that? The stone bulge. <laughs> yes. The stone bulge is. <laughs> I was seeing it like two days ago and I was like, a little gender bend, a little, you can be anything you want to be, a little. You're damn right. One thing about me is I like to be for the people that are different. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, how wonderful. And I quote, the thing about me is I like to be for the people who are different, for the people who don't fit in. What the fucking freaks you mean? Yeah, she must be talking about the freak group. The group, Giorgio, that you stand in alone, my friend. The thing is, ladies and gentlemen, there are people who don't fit in and then there are the freaks. Uh, I don't really fit in with people, I gotta be honest. I'm, I, I am very good at making friends, but, but I'm very introverted and like to be by myself a lot, and I really do shy away from the rest of society. The yes. bulge? Dude, where the f*** did you get that? The stone bulge? Yes. The stone bulge is... There was a lot of things she said in that clip alone that just really does send me over the edge, to be honest with you. And when she mentioned the stone bulge, she did this weird eyebrow raise and then started doing these clicking noises after. I think she's the only person on earth who thought those pictures were sick. The rest of us thought it was sick-minded. And to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still waiting to see this big dick energy Jojo was talking about. And in the next clip, ladies and gentlemen, she goes on to talk about her current relationship, which has only been going on for about two months, so I'm excited to see what she's gonna say. Gonna so what do you do to keep, like, the relationship alive? You, like, get her flowers? I'm a- I'm very romantic. I- I- I'm a flower girl. I'm a gift girl. I'm a, like, Aww. I'm an overly thoughtful girl. We I never would've guessed that either. What do you do to keep the relationship alive? Was it dying already? You've only been in it for two months. I mean, don't tell me you cracked this move out on her. Because if that's the case, keeping it alive is not an option. And apparently, ladies and gentlemen, Jojo Siwa is an overly thoughtful girl. She's a gift girl. She loves to give flowers to people. The bare f***ing minimum. It depends what kind of relationship you're in, right? If you're in a heterosexual relationship, it's more common for the man to give flowers to the woman. You don't really hear women giving flowers to men very often, even though I receive flowers sometimes. <laughs> I'll give you a very strong reason why I like receiving flowers sometimes, because I find it sad that the first time men usually get flowers is after they've died. <laughs> Giving gifts to your partner and being thoughtful is just the bare f***ing minimum. Why does she make it sound like as if this is spectacular action that nobody does? And in the next clip, ladies and gentlemen, George will see you when invites the hawk to a girl to have a stroll through hell. AKA the uh, the Georgia Siwa concert. Genius. Your concerts do look like a lot of fun. We started to get They're tickets at one no, time, yeah, did we, we not? Like, we're like, okay, go. that looks like fun. Okay, anytime y'all want to come, I got you. Oh, we gotta go. We definitely yeah, gotta go. Yeah, never get a ticket.
That sounds like so much fun. It is fun. I keep the concert fun. I keep the audience entertained. I make sure everyone's having a good time. It's Oh, she keeps the audience entertained, apparently, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a little look how she does that. All right, yeah, you keep it fun, yeah? You, you keep it fun by drinking fucking booze. She needs help, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, she needs serious help. Yeah, because the whole audience really does have a wicked time watching you drink tequila. Oh, George C. was drinking alcohol. <laughs> oh, what fun. And I'm sure that you also keep your audience entertained by cursing at them. <laughs> Him. Wow, just bad girl energy. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter how many times Georgia Siwa tries to bury her old sparkly self and enter this new era of being a bad girl, this clip will never escape her. I want you to know that it's really cool to listen to your mom. I'm gonna break it down. Eat your veggies, do your math, eat your homework. That it's really cool to listen to your mom. <laughs> Eat your veggies, do your math, eat your homework, huh? You're telling children to eat their fucking homework? If you eat your homework, then you can sound like me. What a motivating song. I mean, listen to your mother. It's cool to listen to your mom. You know, eat your veggies, do your maths. Eat your fucking homework. So all this bad girl energy she's got going on right now, we know who you are, all right? We know underneath all this, all this... Shit. <laughs> that you were just this rainbow and sparkles who listens to her mom and has never done a single bad thing in her life. So, like, do you hop to... Actually, yeah. <laughs> See, it's not just for See, the straight not, people. Yeah. This is I my mean, point look, proven. It's very so, inclusive. Sometimes a little, a little spit can go a long way. Yeah, I agree. I don't think I make a verbal, like, <laughs> with it. But I feel like you definitely should in the name of me. I kind of, like, let it, like, drool out of my mouth, I guess. Oh, shit. It. That is disgusting, man. How the f*** are you going to sit on the podcast and say that? I get this podcast is basically all about sexual things anyway, which is kind of sad, to be honest. I mean, really? Your whole personality is about sex? But that's just sickening. It's not the kind of thing you disclose to people. Yeah, I just kind of let the spit drool out of my mouth. Are you f***ing alright? Are you seriously saying that on the internet? Like, she actually sickens me. And they're laughing as if it's funny. It's not funny. It's f***ing diabolical. But are you guys ready to probably hear the worst thing you've ever heard in your lives? It's, it gets really bad. They name their vaginas. Haley's vagina is named Big Martha. Okay. Do you have a name for yours? Uh, I think we're about to. Okay. Um, <laughs> hey, let's see. <laughs> God, I wish my girlfriend was on the phone right now. <laughs> Frank. Um, Frank? Frank the Tank. You got Big Martha and Frank the Tank. <laughs> Can it be cute or can it be Frankie? Yeah, I think Frankie Frank the Frankie. Tanky. Frankie. Frankie the Tanky. Frank. So the Hawk Tour girl calls her vagina Big Martha, and now Georgia C. was calling her vagina Frankie the Tanky. Isn't that just slightly, you know, strange? Ah, sorry guys. Kind of out of order down there today. Bernard's kind of sore from last night. But while that is strange in itself, ladies and gentlemen, they go on to talk about their ex for men. Well, that's rich. This whole thing so far has been an ick. I don't think they're entitled to say they're ex for men, considering the fact they named their f***ing vaginas a couple of seconds ago. That's actually what my ick list is called. Lady it's bone. like lady boner turnoffs. Valid. That's like my ick list. What are your men icks? I only have one. I have two icks for men. For men? For men. Okay. Women, I have no icks. Long toenails sicken me. Disgusting. That's one. Um, I have plenty. I have two for men. Peeling an orange. <laughs> What? Picture a man peeling an orange. <laughs> you got a no, yeah, I never thought about that. Do you have any icks for girls? No. Mm. No, no girl no. icks. Okay, just men. Okay, um, basically we're targeting men. Um, I mean, yeah, the first one's fair enough. I totally understand that. I can totally get it. That's very reasonable. But then Georgia was one was, once again, very fucking weird, as usual. Anything that comes out of her mouth is usually strange. So Urek is men peeling oranges. Okay, guys, let's take note of this. Never eat an orange in your life because how else can you eat an orange without peeling it? So don't do it because it makes George Siwa feel sick to her stomach. Give the second one after this and it's just so much more ridiculous than this one. Ending a jump rope. Whether it's getting stuck, tripping, stopping, something with a jump rope. What if you're good at jump rope as a guy? At some That's point you have it, to end them. No, yeah. But even Think if you end gracefully? Like, t -t -t <sighs> As soon but as he stops. the second stopped. he ends, it's like, why the fuck did you stop? But the second it's over, it's like, why did you stop? Well, I don't know, maybe because he can't spend the rest of his life 
fucking jump roping. Once again, just totally and utterly insane sounding. You're an entire ick by yourself just by saying these things. So take note, men. Never work out cardio on a jump rope. And if you do start working cardio on a jump rope, never stop. Because if you do, it's absolutely sickening. You are not entitled to talk about your ex, Giorgio. I'm sorry. Pr practically half the shit you do is an ick. And now that they're finished with their ex, I'm gonna say my ex about women. One of my ex for women is when they just make their whole personality about sex. My second ick for women is when women have a ridiculous ick for men. That doesn't even make sense. That alone is an ick. My third dick is naming your f***ing vaginas. It's like I made my last Georgia Sea video and I thought, there's no way it can get worse than this. And then here we are. Naming vaginas. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention my fourth ick as well. It's when women wear concrete bulges. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's video. Check out the other videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy them if you enjoyed this one. Join the channel memberships. Hit the subscribe button. Comment down below. Leave a like and I'll see you all in the next one.